Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at using the seamless iClone and Unreal Engine production pipeline for animation, game development, crowd simulation, and more. The iClone Unreal Live Link allows you to quickly and efficiently transfer a variety of iClone data back and forth, including characters, props, and cameras. You could then link and edit them in real time and record the animation in Unreal with timecode sync. On top of that, you can also directly transfer motion data and automatically apply it to Unreal sequences and also retarget directly to UE characters and metahumans via the IK retargeter. I'll introduce the iClone Unreal Live Link plugin by following four steps. Plugin requirements, set matching, live link, and data link. Let's start off with the plugin requirements. You'll need to install a total of three plugins between iClone and Unreal. In iClone, you'll need the Unreal Live Link plugin, while in Unreal, you'll want to install both the Auto Setup and Unreal Live Link plugins. As always, make sure that you're using the latest versions of both, for Auto Setup at least version 1.33 and for Live Link at least version 1.6. You can find the installation guide on the Reillusion Courses page for more details. Let's move on to the set matching workflow. Matching the positions of everything in the scene between both applications is important. You can do this by either transferring Unreal assets into iClone or by using the iClone Origin gizmo in Unreal. You can transfer meshes to iClone with a single click and utilize the foot contact and snap to surface features in iClone to improve the results of your character's locomotion around the scene's terrain. For crowd simulation, generate a navigation mesh in iClone to dictate the areas in which your crowd can move. For position matching in Unreal, you can use the iClone Origin gizmo as well. By attaching targets to the iClone Origin, you can use it to position them separately in Unreal. In addition to static objects, dynamic objects like a moving bus can also be controlled via the Origin Gizmo. This comes in handy for game scenarios, however, if you only need to make an animation, you can utilize the Sequencer instead. Ok, let's look at the Live Link workflow, which is super useful for many tasks including pre-visualization, real-time editing, animating CC or metahuman characters, and using Take Recorder with timecode syncing. Auto Setup is an amazing plugin that allows for quick and automatic assignment of materials, shaders, physics, and more when transferring to Unreal. You can further adjust the appearance in Unreal, including wrinkle data, physics, PBR and subsurface scattering shading parameters. You can also export a subdivided mesh for higher quality characters or objects as well. Subdivided meshes can give you enhanced details and smoother, less jagged edges on your mesh. Unreal Live Link provides an essential real-time previewing and editing connection between the two applications for a more intuitive workflow. Animation tools like Edit Motion Layer allow for detailed character control. Enable timecode syncing when recording in Unreal for enhanced control over your sequence. Even better, you can bring your metahumans to life by controlling them via the various iClone features such as lip sync, facial mocap, not to mention a massive library of motions at your disposal. Lastly, let's look at the data link workflow. Data link enhances your iClone data transfer by utilizing multiple threading technology to cut the transfer time in half. In the latest version, you can also bake objects and motion animations together and automatically assign them to the sequencer in Unreal. If you want to save time, you can select Exclude Morph Targets to ignore expression data. You can then play back everything right away in Unreal. Camera switching data from iClone is also transferred over and baked to the camera cut track in the sequencer. Data Link also allows you to transfer any animation data quickly to Unreal, including character motions. Take advantage of non-drop full-frame motion transfer applicable to any iClone or CC character. You can utilize the IK rig and retargeter in Unreal to retarget these motions to UE rigs, including metahumans and other character types. You'll find lots of tutorials and other learning resources to help you take advantage of this incredibly powerful pipeline between these two tools. 
check out the Reillusion Courses page and learn more about the specific features mentioned here. Discover an enhanced production workflow by utilizing these features and take your next project to the next level. The only limit is your imagination.